So just how do you chuckle on an elk diaphragm read? In this video, we're gonna break it down and show you how, right after this. Hey everybody, Michael Batiste from the Elk Calling Academy, where we give you your blueprint for success in the elk woods. Welcome back to Wapiti Wednesday Q&A. Tonight's question has come in quite a few times over all of our channels, our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, our Instagram page, and, and it's a pretty popular question, and actually I get asked this a lot outside of those pages, and it's simply, how do you chuckle? Chuckling is one of those things that takes a little bit of time to learn and learn it right, but if you learn it the right way, it can add so much realism into your calling. Now, basically, the chuckle has three parts. It has the note on the diaphragm read, and then kind of a, oh, and then the third part is oh, sucking back in. If you hear bulls chuckling, you can hear them sucking that air back in in between each chuckle. This is the really important piece that a lot of people miss out on. They don't get that breath back in. So when learning how to chuckle, I really recommend going slow and taking your time. So basically what we're going to do with the reed on the center portion of our mouth, we're going to flex our tongue up into the diaphragm to kind of get a middle note and then blow air across and get that middle note. And then we're gonna immediately going to drop our tongue off the reed and go, oh, and then suck back in. So it's note, oh, note, oh, note, oh. So with the reed in the mouth, add a tube, Now, by going at this slow pace when you're first learning, it does a couple of different things. One, it allows you to make sure that all three parts are included in the chuckle. And two, the reed will stay in place because as you start to speed it up when you're learning, that reed is going to move around a little bit. And there is a chance that when you suck that air back in, <gasps> that that reed can slide to the back of your mouth. So go slow. Once you've practiced and you have all three of those notes on a consistent basis, then you can just kind of start to speed it up a little bit. Once you've gotten to that step of learning, now you can add a little bit of attitude into it. You can add a little bit more tongue pressure, air pressure to change the notes at the start of the chuckle. Or you can just speed up your cadence to do kind of an excited chuckle. So that's the breakdown on how to chuckle on an elk diaphragm read. As always, guys, we appreciate you turning, tuning in to the Wapiti Wednesday Q&A brought to you by Elk Calling Academy, where we give you your blueprint for success in the elk woods. If you're new to our channel, you might want to consider subscribing. At the end of the video, we'll put a link right down here that you can just click on and go to the subscribe page. That way you'll be notified whenever we upload a new Wapiti Wednesday Q&A or a new chapter in the Beginner's Guide to Elk Calling. And soon on Monday nights, we're going to be doing vlogs. Now, if you want to learn more about chuckling or maybe schedule a one-on-one -on -one lesson where I can work with you directly, head over to our Facebook page and just send us a message there and we'll chit chat and see what we can get lined up. All right, guys, as always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your support. And we'll see you next week on the next Wapiti Wednesday Q&A.